you know, for us, probably one of the most difficult behaviors or frustrating behaviors is she does not have the same level of motivation or drive as our biological kids. She's quite quick, actually, just to sort of give up on herself and just quit, you know, and that's not a trait that exists in our biological family at all. We have like really driven kids and that's been really difficult uh, for us to deal with, right? Where we're giving her the opportunity to do something and then she just stops, like she just gives up and stops, right? And, and whether that is from a school perspective or like very early on, we go for a bike ride and we'd bike for a few blocks and then all of a sudden we turn around and she just have her bike laying on the side of the road and she'd be like, ah, I'm done riding my bike, you know, be like, well, we gotta get home somehow, you know, and she'd be like, well, I don't know, you know. And you know, it's like, well, you can't just quit. I mean, so that's been uh, very difficult uh, for us. Um, and just, I, I'd say the other behavior that uh, we went through was, you know, when we would be going and doing something fun, she quite often, I think, feel guilty about uh, her biological family state versus what she was doing now. And that would normally result in like halfway through the activity her having some kind of uh, meltdown. The biggest example of that was probably we were in, uh, we had the opportunity to take her to Disneyland. And so she was all excited about going to Disneyland and then we stopped for lunch and she was having the time of her life. And then all of a sudden she wouldn't order food for lunch. She wouldn't have conversations with her for lunch. And the next thing you know, she was like pointing at us and screaming at us that we weren't her parents, you know, and- uh, In the middle of a Disney restaurant. In the restaurant. middle of a Disney restaurant. Yeah. And uh, that was an interesting uh, time where we were like, security is going to be here in a minute, you know, because she's African American and we're obviously as white as can be. And we were like, this is not going to look good. But um, she recovered from that and in about yeah. 20 minutes it took. Yeah. So pretty difficult 20 minutes. And now we, you know, it's been two or three years and now we actually laugh with her about that and she laughs about it. And, you know, so it's all been good. But those are some of the kinds of behaviors that we've had. Well, on the same trip actually at the end we went to the gift shop and um, she picked out a bracelet that she wanted and it had a Disney character that you she used to get called the name of that Disney character in her biological family mm -hmm. and so she said that's why she wanted that gift so this has happened over and over again that um, at the end of uh, something nice she would relate it back to how great her biological family was in some way and it almost kind of made it like where we were nothing to do with this um, and that behavior repeated over and over again for quite a while yeah yeah they, so I mean that's probably how we came aware of it and yeah and then uh, just training courses that we had taken yeah. and therapy uh, you know, for the first year that she was with us, we were in therapy with her once a week, right? And so just learning how she thought and uh, how she reacted to things sort of opened our eyes to that kind of behavior, which was very helpful then, right? Yeah. Once you, you know, once you understand that, because the behavior is, again, quite different than uh, our biological kids or things that we had encountered before, right? But once you understand why they're behaving the way they're behaving, then you can you know, kind of get to the bottom of it, right?